All right, I've done it. I've completely calculated who will come out on top on Minecraft Champions 11. And this time, I'm coming at you with the facts, the math, the undeniable goddamn proof of who is the champion of this week. Let me break it down. You come here on the left. This is the entire table of all, all 10 teams. You can see by the color key down here, I've color coded them. As you can see, red, go to PvP. Orange, five head, that's yellow, I'm dumb. Kinda blue, anchor, I'll get into that. And this is team leader, all right? So go to PvP, you know what that fucking means, all right? These are your PvPers, the people that will wreck you. I base this on who is a good PvPer within their respective group. So Dream is probably the best PvPer out of the entire Frankenstein team. Uh, Techno and Tapel, I don't care. I put them both PvPers, cause whatever. So the five head. The five head means these are the people that will make the big plays, the big differences. You have people like George, Grian, Dan TDM. These are the people that know the shit. They have the five head. They are smart. That's basically all that means. Anchor. Anchor is the more calm, collective part of the group. When it comes down to it, you can't have everyone be full juicer all the time. You can't do that. You need some calm people to just you know, help you ease through it. Those are the anchors. People like Wilbur, Prolescent Moon. These are the kind of people, you know, they don't take shit that much seriously. They're a bit calm. They're collected. And then you have your team leaders. These are gonna be your shot callers. People like H-Bomb, Crinios. People that know what they're doing and know how to get their team in there. All right. And right here, you got your total team wins. We'll get into that later. On this right table, you have the entirety of the player performances from last week. The numbers are the amount of their placements. The numbers are their placements of the weeks. And on the right here, you have their team average. So the entire averages of them. All right. So you come in the left. You come in the left here. All right. This chart shows the entire team wins percentages together. As you can see, it looks like the blue black cats are an astounding lead of 24% compared to everyone else's not 24% because they have eight wins. All right, that's pretty insane. And then of course you got poor little fucking aqua abominations with zero fucking wins. Pathetic. And then you come to this right table here. This is the big juice. It's kind of weird how it works out, but uh, basically the lower the number, the better, because the the lower placement means the better, because you know number one. Blue black cats again coming in at the lowest, meaning the highest. So they're coming in at one. Because if you see right here, well, they've all placed one. They've all got the one dub. They've all got the dub. Like, they're insane. Like, H-Bomb's shot caller, F-Whip's expertise. Like, this is the perfect stack. I think they will absolutely dominate the week. They are crushing the competition. No one else even compares. And then you have, uh, you know, other teams, you know, James, Charles, and Connor Eats Pants. James Charles has some experience. Connor Eats Pants is gonna be that shot caller again. This might be a team worth considering, considering their earlier performance. They have a total of five team wins. I feel like they might come in a close second. But it could be close considering Techno's and Tapel's PvP expertise. If the uh, game rotation is in their favor, they could also be coming 
second. But I do definitely think the blue black cats is a, a hard, a hard first place. No, nothing beats them. Again, guys, this is coming at you with the data. This took three days of data expertise. Alright. Don't skimp out on it. This is the truth. 